was late. I'm barely awake, but my friends are coming on over anyway. The cows are pulling in, lows and highs begin to multiply. And I'm ready to have some fun tonight. Yeah, the fire gets going and the booze starts blowing. Five Types of Above Ground Pools There are five types of above ground pools to choose from and they are semi-in-ground, rolled wall aluminum, resin, steel, and hybrid. This video will give you highlights of each one so you can choose which is right for you and your family. First up, the aluminum semi-in-ground pool. Semi-in-ground is just what the name suggests. It is semi-in-ground capable. The wall is made of one quarter inch thick, tongue and grooved aluminum slats that slide together. This makes the wall strong and capable of being sunk into the earth about halfway. For those who ask the question, why can't rolled wall pools or any old above ground pool be sunk into the earth? We say this is not such a good idea as the walls could collapse easily and it will void out your pool's warranty. However, with a proper slurry mix between the pool walls and earth, it can be done. It is just more expensive to do. One would have to weigh the costs of doing this or opting for a semi-in-ground pool. If your yard has a slope or you are planning a deck and want to use fewer materials in constructing, then a semi-in-ground is perfect for your situation. This picture represents a backyard that is perfect for a semi-in-ground pool. This pool takes advantage of a sloped yard and the deck is made with less materials. Another feature of the semi-in-ground pool is that saltwater sanitation is a perfect choice for this pool. Being made of thick aluminum, it will not rust out from contact with salts. This pool choice is the most expensive of the common style above ground pools we are showing you today, but are one quarter the cost of other pools like the kayak pools and ambassador pools. Next is the rolled wall aluminum pool. It is made of one continuous sheet of aluminum, the same as all the other rolled wall pools, but instead of a steel wall, it has an aluminum wall. All the components of this pool are also aluminum, and this makes for a pool that doesn't rust and is good for saltwater sanitation systems. It is second in pricing behind its big brother, the semi-in-ground pool. Its costs are between semi-in-ground and resin pools. This brings us to our next pool type, resin. The resin style pool was invented back in the 80s by a company called Aqualeader and over the years has been improved tenfold. There are a few things one should consider when choosing a resin style pool. Resin material, salt water applications, versatility, and costs. Let's start with the material. You want a good quality resin. We would place resin pools into two categories of materials used, Sinflex resin and lower quality resin. You know the lower quality resin we are referring to, the resin that cracks when it's cold and softens when it's hot and is generally cheap quality. Second type is Sinflex or talc filled resin material. It is made for the long haul. It will not crack in the colder climates and will be cool to the touch when it is hot without softening. Being made of resin, it is the perfect choice for saltwater sanitation applications. Cost of a resin pool will land between rolled wall aluminum and hybrid pools of which we will talk about soon. But resin pools are a fraction of an in-ground pool cost, making resin a really good deal for most families. Resin is versatile because manufacturers can produce accenting curves making for true radius top rails and with all the components being made of resin, color can be added to the injection process. This allows for modern looking pools compared with an all steel pool. Speaking of steel pools, this is our next up. Steel pools have been around since the beginning of above ground pools. They have been improved upon greatly over the years. When people think of steel pools, they are immediately taken back in time when we had fake wooden walls and the overall look was missing a little class. Today's steel above ground pools are a huge improvement and you ask any installer and they will tell you they prefer to install steel pools. 
Most steel pools have top caps made of resin, allowing some accents to shine through. There are lower quality steel pools and some that are built for the long haul. Price is a good determining factor when choosing a quality steel pool. Generally speaking, the larger the frame, the stronger the pool. There are other factors such as ribbed uprights and thicker steel components. We could go on all day explaining all the differences. Biggest takeaway here is that steel pools are a great choice for strength and with newer protective coatings like plastic, Duratex, Texture Coat, Poly Enamel, Zinc Guard 275, True Coat Bonding, and many more can last 20 years or even longer. Price wise, they are the most cost effective pool in the world and easy to install. Last is the hybrid above ground pool. This pool is a combination of resin and steel. It has most of the characteristics of a resin pool and the strength of a steel pool. This pool offers true radius top ledges and contoured resin components that allow for a more modern appearance. A hybrid pool is priced between steel and resin and has some good advantages. A true hybrid pool has steel uprights attaching to coping made of steel and the rest of the components are made of resin. These steel coping rails can be switched on some pool models, Mission, Supernova, and Revell, so it can support saltwater applications. Some other determining factors to help you when trying to select the right pool are, check out this common pool size and excavation chart and notice how the excavation sizes are bigger than the pool size. To install an above ground pool, one must consider the excavation size as well. Proper placement will depend on whether you have room for the installation. It is helpful to use the excavation sizes when comparing your local rules and regulations. Next, have a look at this next chart. This is a swimmer's chart we have designed from many years of experience to show what size pool may be right for your needs. This chart doesn't take into effect that someone may purchase an above ground pool for swimming exercise. If you plan to use a pool for exercising, we recommend a round 27 foot or larger and a 15 foot by 30 foot or larger oval style pool. Finally, have a look at our liner thickness chart. It will show you a safe zone. This zone is where you, the consumer, can feel safe with your liner thickness choice. For more information on pool equipment and pool liners in general, please watch our other videos and explore our website. Thanks for watching.